In 2019, we absolutely shocked Kickstarter with our How to Read Minds kit. It funded in only 90 minutes and went on to collect more five-star reviews than any product in Illusionist's two-decade history. We taught people with no prior skill and no experience whatsoever exactly how to read minds. But there was one thing we didn't teach, and that's something so big, so powerful, it deserved a kit of its own. These are techniques used not to read minds, but to control them. Try saying your name. <laughs> Impossible, now look. Who's back? What's your name? Anna. <laughs> Thank you for playing. <laughs> That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Oh. <laughs> Out of interest, when you just felt me tap you, and if you're torn between two numbers, how many times did I tap you? It was like two or three. Ah! No, 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 no! Yes! Oh. Open your eyes, Mikhail. Open your eyes. Come back, come back. Using the techniques that we're sharing in this set, at any time you can be dropped off anywhere in the world with nothing on you and create an incredible, unforgettable experience. You can tell by the sound of my voice I'm not next to you now, correct? Yeah. And I'm not touching you now. No. But you did just feel me tap you. Yeah. Good. Try lift it. <laughs> 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 Look, you can now. <laughs> How to Control Minds is a potent mixture of mentalism, linguistics and hypnotic suggestion. It's like having unlimited social currency in a box. Even if you've never performed before, this stuff is so simple that I'm telling you that you can do this. Again, when Pete told me that I could be able to knock somebody down without even touching them, I was thinking like, no way, how can, how can that be, be possible? But when Peter asked if anyone wanted to give it a go, I thought, well, yeah, I'm, I'm really up for trying some new things. But again, within like less than a couple of minutes, you know, I was able to do it. And again, it didn't take too much for me to be able to, to learn to be able to do that. So yeah, it's, uh, it's awesome. So as a testament to how powerful this stuff is, you can see it's raining outside. And we decided because the rain got so bad, to call into a random bar on the way past. The weird irony is that as I'm telling you how powerful this is, I literally get grabbed and pulled into a private law firm party for the last two hours and we've been drinking and having a laugh and a good time. And if that's a testament to how powerful this is, I don't know what it is. We made some big and bold claims on the run up to the How To Read Minds kit. Claims that sparked public outcry. But when people receive their kits, they realize that not only did we deliver, but we over-delivered. This time we're making the same big, bold claims, and I'm 100% confident that we're over-delivering again. Completely mental. He touched me, I had my eyes open the whole time, he only touched me, I and he right literally there. exactly where he touched, he felt. I've never seen anything like Pete, the Wonder Man, on TV before. I could feel it go all the way up my arm, into my mouth. My, my tongue was sort of rooted to the bottom of my mouth and I just, I, I couldn't say it. As much as I physically wanted to say it, it just wasn't happening. In this kit, you'll find the Try Principle, which is a principle that I created to allow you to be able to replicate absolutely any piece of hypnosis you've ever seen without actually having to hypnotize somebody. And no matter how hard you try, it becomes more and more impossible. But just as fast as it became heavy, watch, it becomes light and you can lift it. And it feels really strange. Next, you'll learn insurance. If you're performing for two people or 2,000 people, this effect is as powerful as it gets. It allows you to seemingly steal a thought from somebody's head and hypnotically replace it with one of your own. Would you believe me if I told you that I've taken that number and replaced it with one of my own? I mean, obviously not, no. What number is it you're thinking of? 4213. 42, well, <laughs> Salah. That's the number that I did try to put <laughs> in, right? You learn the force. Learn how to knock somebody over without ever touching them. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 
you all right? There's the hand stick and the hand stick bonus. You literally stick somebody's hand to the table using suggestion, move that feeling up their body into their mouth, you stop them from being able to speak and even go as far as making them forget their own name. Try even harder to say your name. He can't, it's impossible to say his own name. Comes back, what's your name? <laughs> then you'll learn Robin Hood. This is a piece that I created for a Middle Eastern television show as they were the only people that had dare put this on television. This is a simple technique to make it seem like you're hypnotizing somebody to steal all their possessions and then you finish by revealing a thought that they're merely thinking of. It's an absolute showstopper. Does Luke's girlfriend know what he's done? And then I'll share with you ambidextrous. Imagine being able to walk up to somebody, ask them if they're left or right-handed, and they say right-handed, and with a few words of wisdom, you change their dominant hand for the rest of their life. There's the knockback induction. This literally looks like what you'd expect hypnosis to look like. Somebody stood there and within a few seconds, boom, they hit the floor and their eyes are completely closed and everybody believes they're in a deep trance. There's the IPI induction, which stands for the instant pseudo induction, which is a pseudo induction that requires little to no work and you can make it seem like you've put somebody in a trance with the wave of a hand. Another technique I'll be sharing is friction. Imagine being able to remove somebody's strength at the snap of a finger. You ask them to close their eyes, you say a few words, and when they open their eyes, they can no longer move the deck. And now for the reputation maker, Midas Touch. This technique allows you to touch one person and somebody else feels it at least two meters away. And the reactions that you get from this are so insane I couldn't do it justice by trying to explain it in words. Two numbers. How many times did I tap you? It was like two or three. Ah! Oh! No, 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 yes. no, no, This has been dubbed my greatest creation of all time and I'm so happy to be able to share it with you on this kit. It's literally a game changer. It was a bit harder. harder? Now I obviously touched you on your head and your arm, but where did you feel that last firm tap point to it? Even if you only want to learn one thing from this set, I can guarantee to you that Midas Touch will get you the reputation of the person who really can control minds. And if all that wasn't enough, I get to sit in the chair with one of the greatest consultants on the planet, Mark Lemon, to jam out ideas and techniques so you're getting the very best of the best when it comes to this material. Mark and I will also discuss a technique that we've used all around the world when we're consulting for some of the biggest names in the magic and mentalism industry. We're gonna break this technique down that's used on all the hit television shows and we're gonna simplify it so that you can look in the real world how your favorite performers look on TV. Um, that was where I dread. What? That's where I generated my love for geography. You may be asking yourself, could I do this? It's, it looks easy when Pete's doing it, right? It looks easy because it is easy. And let me tell you why it's easy. When we do magic, even when we read minds, often there's a prop involved that we have to hide. Often there's sleight of hand, and that takes part of you away from the presentation. So with this stuff, there is none of that. There's nothing to hide. You never have to worry about, did they catch the dove up my sleeve? Did they see the rabbit up my ass? None of that. It's all psychology. It's, it's really playing the human mind. That's what it is. It's using a person's own psychology against themselves. Once you start doing it a little bit, you're gonna see how really easy it is. And the reactions that you're gonna create are some of the best I've ever seen. These are the type of reactions where people just run. We know these claims seem so outrageous, but trust me, there are a lot of people that do this kind of stuff that are privy to the secrets. It actually does work and you'll find out. One thing I'm proud of is how bulletproof and fail-safe the material is. Whether you're performing for the very first time or performing at a professional event, these techniques will have your back and you don't need to carry a single thing. 
if you can speak, you can do this. It looks like hypnosis, it feels like hypnosis, but it's completely foolproof.